All right, all right. We are live. Good morning, good morning, everyone. I hope you're doing super well. Happy Marketing Monday. There is so much going on in the world right now. So, ah, there we are. If you are here, let me know that you're here. Um, let me know who, where you're coming in from and what's going on for you right now. I've just looked at how disheveled I am. Oh, well, such is life. Such is life. Okay. So I have recently been talking a lot about our HOPE Challenge and that's help one person a day. And I've also been talking about getting clear on your one. And this has been something that's been happening in the social startup group for us all that I wanted to get uh, super uh, granular on for you guys, right? Because it's one thing to be able to market to a bunch of people, but it's another thing to actually know who are the people that you're speaking to and how to connect with them. Because if you are marketing to, say, a 25-year-old and you're marketing to a 40-year-old, the, the same message won't resonate. That makes sense. So everyone who's saying, I can help everyone, yes, you can. But your message to a 20-year-old is going to be different to a message to a 40-year-old. Because what triggers a 20-year-old won't be the same as what triggers a 40-year-old. Where they're at, how they're feeling, the goals, all of those things are different. So if you could use this as an example on how to get really clear on your messaging and your marketing and how to get super clear on your niche and your sub niche, this is going to help you with your content creation. It's going to help you with your um, big plans. Good morning, Kat. How are you this morning? And it's going to help you get really clear on how to take the next steps in your business, right? And that's what we want, we want for you guys. So let me just see that we're streaming. We're streaming in the digital business building. I don't think we're streaming on the page, but that's okay. We're good where we are, right? Good morning, beautiful Jenna. Everyone, please do a big fat shout out to Jenna. It's her birthday today. Happy birthday, sweetheart. I hope you have the most brilliant day. And I know you've got lots of um, love and lots of gorgeous moments lined up. And I saw that you had a beautiful weekend. So just mwah, happy birthday, sweetheart. Um, yay. All right, all right. So in getting clear on this thing, and this happened when we were in a call last week with our community and we were talking about, you know, this, this element of making sure that your messaging connects or creating content that connects is all about making sure that we're speaking really clearly to the person who can be, we can be of more service of. Now, everyone, not everyone, but a lot of people get stuck in this stuff. They're right, oh, I know I've done avatar work before. I know who my customer is. I can help lots of people. But I think what they're really doing in this moment is getting super clear on what is the problem that we want to solve. Because when we're clear on how do we solve a problem and how do we do this thing from a place of service, then we can really position ourselves in a greater way um, for the right people. And that's that thing about getting clear on your niche and getting clear on your sub-niche. So this is the work that we did last week a little bit, Kat, but I wanted to dig deeper into this for some of the people who perhaps are not part of our group because there's a bunch of them, right? And how we can then allow this to be a way that we can be of deeper service to um to the greater community. Let me just pull out my notes. Oh my God, I've got so many notes open, I can't find everything, such is life. So the first thing I would say is, let's get super clear on what is the problem that we solve, right? Because when we know the problem that we solve, we're able to articulate that to people. And so what happens is we get confused by all the layers or we've overthought our marketing. You know, I help this person to do this, to this, and we just keep falling back onto this. I help this person to do this and this because we've been indoctrinated with mar marketing jargon, right? And that's okay in some regards, but if you want to create content that connects, if you want your landing pages to convert, if you want to create great copy, we've got to be able to nail what is the problem that someone is Google searching, right? And they're potentially, in the instance of us, right, they're potentially not Google searching, how do I create a great personal brand? Or how do I, you know, um, sell my products online? They're probably just trying to, gen they're probably just asking, um, you know, uh, what is Facebook marketing? Or whatever those things are, right? So it's about getting super clear on what is the problem that we solve for people and how, what are they searching for online? Because when we know what they're searching for online, it becomes much, much easier for us to be able to understand how we can help people. Now, here's my Now Your Niche PDF. 
I got it now. So in order to sell on social, we want to get really clear on who we help, but also get clear on shifting our mindset around niching down. Because what happens is we get, sometimes we get in our own way. If we think about niching down, maybe we're worried that we won't find enough people. Or if we're thinking about niching down, maybe we get stuck on, oh, what if I pick the wrong niche? Or, but I, that, that's not one thing. I do more than that. You know, in the case of Kat, Kat, while well, she's a foodie photographer, but she does more than that. She does personal brand shots and she does, you know, cooking workshops and she does, you know, um, you know, wedding photography. She does more than that. So is the, oh, hello, Miss Sarah, how are you, beautiful lady? And so is the problem then, if I niche down, will I then exclude those other people and that can be a challenge for us because we don't want to get stuck especially if we're in a place of need it's like okay I, I need to grow this month so I want to be able to give myself the best opportunity and sometimes that kind of mindset around you know I won't be able to um, you know attract the right people or I need you know to get this one thing or my niche might be too specific or too broad or what if I can't like nail that niche very well or or will I regret it? And the beautiful thing is, and this is what I've been saying to my sister over the weekend, the decisions we make for right now can just be for now, right? The niche we choose to serve now can just be the niche for now. And it doesn't have to be that they're the only ones that we serve our whole lives, right? It can be that space where we're in this space of serving this particular niche and this is who we're serving this month. But next month, it could be someone totally different. And that's actually okay. Try not to let the fear of um, niching down stop you from getting started. And be super mindful that your products and services and the way you position them will only really fit one niche at a time. Even if you can help more people, right? So in this moment, let's consider this that you're here to be of service to one particular avatar in this particular moment, because we only have this present moment. And in this space, how can you be of service to them, right? And so what that looks like then is getting super clear. And I'd love for you to get super clear by asking yourself these five questions. These were the five questions we asked in the um, training last week. So, Mister, I know you missed that, but Kat, I know you were there. So this is an opportunity to go through that again, right? So the first one is, what's the main problem related to what you do that your ideal person struggles with, right? What is the one problem related to what you do that your ideal person struggles with? And so, take a moment to consider this. Now, again, I'd love you to wipe the slate, create a new canvas, add a new memory card, using like, because we've got photographers on the call, so add a new memory card, pop a new filter on, clear the slate, start from scratch. What is the one thing that you can do that would solve a problem that your client struggles with? Right, and for example, it could be um, having great images on my website. Right, I, I don't have any photos of me because I've got two photographers on the call. I don't have any photos of me. That could be, or I hate having my photo taken because actually the main problem is I hate having my photo taken onto this. Right, and so that leads us into the next question In what way does it complicate, impact, or overwhelm them? So for someone who doesn't like to have their photos taken, it's like, oh, you know, I, I keep thinking uh, there's a comparisonitis or I keep thinking I'm too this or too that or, um, you know, I need to be thinner or I um, maybe I'm not as well known as other people. There are other people in the way or there are other people doing more of this or, you know, I don't have any clients. So what is the piece around this problem that overcomplicates them? So what, in what ways does this complicate impact or overwhelm them they may not you know I don't have time to have a photo shoot I'm always traveling or you know I've got no clothes so we did a shoot for a client last week and she went shopping and she's like I'm too busy I can't do it and I'm like no no because she'd put it off a couple of times because she got into her and she's amazing obviously because I only work with amazing people 
But I think she got into that overwhelm of I'm not ready and, you know, I should have done it this way, I should have done it that way. And that thing actually is not helping her. I can't get my hair right. <laughs> That's my overwhelm today. Um, my hair's super girly at the moment. So what is the overwhelm or what is the overthinking that's getting in the way of her getting that stuff done, right? And then how do you solve that problem for them? So maybe it is about, hey, you know, we're going to be there as your team. We'll, we'll get your hair and makeup done. We'll do the right lighting. We'll, we do this in a natural environment. We have your family there. We create situational um, placement. It's not you on a chair with a white background. Like they're the hardest ones. You know, what do you do that's going to make it simple for them? We actually talk you through it. Um, you won't know the camera's there. Like, what, in what, how do you solve that problem for them? Maybe you just say to them, hey, what we'll do is we'll create this space where you, know, you can really feel your most vibrant. Like, I know that Mystere does these incredible, you know, moments and experiences for people. So what is the way that you can overcome or solve that problem for them? And then the next question is, what does your client want to feel or experience instead of the problem above? So we go back to having the photos. They want to feel like they've got their best foot forward online. They want to feel like they're being represented in their imagery and their social media well. They want to feel like, you know, when people connect with their photos, it is a true reflection of who they are. You know, what is the thing... Yeah, what is the thing that will help them to feel or experience, and they're the keywords, feel or experience, instead of the problem. So I want to feel confident with my online presence. I want to feel that this is the best version of me showing up online. Yeah, I want to feel a sense of ease and flow about my um, social media or about my websites. I want to feel that my social media content is a true reflection of who I am and my values. Do you know? And then the last piece is why would they chose, choose you to solve the problem? And this is super important. For example, this could be the space of, well, I know there's a, there's a lot of photographers in the world, right? A lot. There's a lot of niche down photographers, but why you? Why now and why them? For example, it could be that in the instance of Kat, she said, for me, it's not just about the photographs, it's about telling the story. I don't think it's enough for them to say, um, you know, we make it easy and quick to get your products looking online, because that's not, a, I think it's more around, you know, we make sure that we tell the story behind the brand, that's what you were saying before. Why you is not just the photographs for us, it's the experience that everyone, everyone who comes to your website has when they look at your pro when they look at your products, when they look at your photos online, they feel deeply connected to who you are and what you do. That is the feeling we want to create. We've got to step out of sometimes this piece of um, telling people what we do and finding a way to get them to feel what we do, right? Because if we can bring that uh, element into a feeling and step it away from telling, right, then I think we're in a really great place to be able to help people understand the experience of doing business with us. So people will generally buy based on how they feel and then they'll rationalize it later. Always, right? Always, always. It's like, oh, I really like that. Yep, I totally need that. I don't want to have FOMO, all those things. I totally need that. And then they'll figure out how to do it afterwards. Yeah. So how do you, how do you create that feeling, right? And then from there, then that gives you your niche. So your niche is... You know, we take incredible, um, you know, inc incredible personal branding photography that allows you to know that it's the authentic version of you showing up on your social media all the time so that your websites, your content, your marketing all reflects the true value of who you are when you show up online so that you can feel connected to your messaging and they can feel connected to your messaging and you have this sense of ease and joy by using us and knowing that we're creating the full experience so what you then need to do is take those five questions and turn them into a sentence similarly to what i just did in that moment right so here's your work i will pop the questions or i'll pop the five elements into the feed below ask yourself the five questions then Take those five questions and use them to nail down your niche. So the niche is not photography, right? 
is epic brand photography that emulates the essence of who you are to take away the stress and the overwhelm, to feel excited and connected to your brand messaging with a person who is there with you step by step to create the story. That is your niche, right? That is how we do it. That is how we create these epic marketing stories for people so they feel connected to who you are and your brand. Okay, so let's see any questions on this one so far. Um, I will pop the questions, I'll pop those five elements into the feed, but I'd love to know what's going on for you, any questions that you have in this space, um, that would be super helpful. <laughs> yes. And in the interim, while you're thinking about all of those things, maybe consider if you haven't already registered for the Hope Challenge, go ahead and do that. That's just help one person a day. Doesn't matter where you are, what you're doing, how you're doing it, we can all help one person a day. It's an important part of, you know, building community, which I know you guys do super well. How do we help one person every day and make a difference? Because I think that gives us that feeling of significance and that gives us a feeling of connectedness and purpose in a deeper way. So go ahead and let me know how you're going with that so that we can, as a collective, create that ripple effect for change. Perfect, perfect. Love it. All right, angels, go ahead. Have the most brilliant day ahead. Oh, here we go. Can you have a niche around how you want them to feel rather than a specific product? Um, well, the niche would be a more around what is this? Yeah, so what is the solution? So if you want to create a community of people who are feeling connected to source or connected to themselves, then that is the niche, right? The specific product is not necessarily uh, your product, but it could be a service or it could be a community, right? Yeah, so I think the niche should be eradicating self grout but what would, how would you facilitate that? Because you want to be able to give people a solution to that, whatever that solution is, whether it's, you know, just a, an online community or whether it's a meetup group or whether it's a, you know, a tool of some sort. But you probably wouldn't go ahead and talk about self-doubt and then not give them a solution to that. That's right. So... Yes, I definitely stay art photography. So I think the solution is like a creative expression, right? So yes, I could. You could definitely have the niche around how they feel, and then the solution can be art photography events. But you also want to be able to take them on a journey with you on that space. So it could be just you know unleashing creativity as a way to bring people back to self. Now, my head is not super great at the moment, in all fairness. My head is very full. Um, so I'm hoping that the more I can get out, the emptier or the more, um, the more capacity I have, right? Uh, yes, I think rather than fit it down into photography, you're right. But I think you can always impact change based on, and I think maybe it's community for you. Maybe it's a creative community. Maybe it's a creative uh, consciousness or collective where people can find their own expression of confidence. I definitely speak to the solution rather than the problem. So I definitely speak to, you know, feeling connected, empowered and present as opposed to feeling self-doubt or stress. So I, would, I love to speak of, to the positive rather than to the negative. But I think uh, it doesn't have to be a service. It could just be a collective. So for me at the moment, the thing that I'm really focused on this month as I'm moving around and traveling where I know I perhaps am not in a place to be able to deliver more service to people this month, what I can do is, is create a collective alignment with the people in my field that would allow me to still have an impact through the Hope Challenge. So we can still do wonderful things. And it's not about, um, you know, me actually having to deliver a service. It's about us creating this ripple effect, which I'm super excited by. I love it. I love having you on the call, Miss Dear. Welcome back. Yeah. 
perfect. All right, my darlings, I will leave it with you. Go ahead, be amazing. Let me know what you come up with. I will drop the questions in the chat. Thanks for being such a beautiful, collected community, connected community, pardon me, for being here, for being present, and for always uh, just showing up just when we need it, right? I so appreciate you. Yeah, I can't wait to see you. Have the best week. Bye for now.